doing today, Christine? Great. How about you? Good, good. So uh, thanks for being on. I know it's kind of late. We're taping this at night, so I appreciate your time. Uh, so you are a filmmaker, writer, script writer. What, what, what do you go by anymore? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we go by. Yes, uh, writer, uh, script writer, and uh, independent publisher. Okay, okay, and we've met we've met through some of the networking groups here in this this area here, and uh, you are into horror films, correct? Yes, I've uh, written, directed, and produced uh, four horror uh, feature films. Oh, okay, that's that's great. Well, I know that you and I both know. Um, Mark Leslie, who is uh, also, uh, well, he's into horror writing. He's an author. He's not filmmaking, but yeah. I, I know that we run in the same circles there. So, so tell us, uh, give us an idea of what your business is now, because you you do a number of things and you're phasing some in, phasing some out. So tell us kind of what your business is right now. Well, as I mentioned, I, I've produced these four feature fil films and I sell the DVDs on Amazon and eBay. And this weekend, I'm at Frightmare in uh, Niagara Falls with the Horror Writers Association at their table selling um, my uh, DVDs. And then um, I'm also converting the script from Vampire Dentist into a novel. So um, that should be out next year. Wow. So so uh, what got you into the horror film <laughs> genre, I guess, is the way to say it, right? <laughs> well, uh, as a child, every uh, Saturday, we used to go uptown. I live in Hamilton, Ontario. Yeah. We used to go uptown to the various uh, cinemas, and uh, at that time, there was horror movies and B-movies and sci-fi movies, and that's the kind of things that I liked, and uh, the carry-on comedy movies from England. So my first three movies are a uh, carry on type of uh, Canadian horror movie. Right. Right. So, so this is a big weekend for you. Are you a, a Halloween fan? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> See, I, 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 I'm, I'm not into uh, half of those movies, although I've watched them as a kid, but I, I find I get too spooked and it's not, it's not the gore that bothers me. It's kind of the surprise that I can't watch shark movies for it. So like that really gets to me. So, so and, and you, I, did, a, you uh, did a shark movie. Tell us about the shark movie you did. You did a shark yes, movie. Yes, Marina Monster. It's a sequel to the, the first horror movie I did, Sharp Teeth, about a mutant monster carp in Coots Paradise, Burlington, Ontario, uh, eating people. And um, this Marina Monster is based on true facts that bull sharks are in the Great Lakes. Yep. And, uh, and they like Lake Superior the best because it's cold and deep. Oh, okay. Well, you're you're making me not want to go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I won't go in the water anymore of what I know what's in it. Well, I'll, I'll go. My wife, my wife Carmen and I, we go. You met Carmen. We we go to the Caribbean a lot. I don't mind the Caribbean because I can at least see them coming to a point. It's clear water here. I don't know if they're coming or not. It's, it's kind of scary. That's right. <laughs> So what is your favorite thing to do? Is it is it directing or writing or acting? What's your favorite part of creating movies? Because you're in all parts of it, I think. Well, I like the writing first because nothing happens until you have a good story. Right. And coming up with an idea, and that's the problem. I'll never live long enough to uh, make all my ideas into books or movies or or any any type of media. Yeah, well, you're a true you're a true creative. You're like you're like you're like myself, right? I have books and books of ideas. I will die before they all get done because there's too many probably in one volume, and I have many volumes. But that that's because ideas keep coming to us, right? You kind of think yeah. of something or you find something, and you you figure, oh, I could I could put on. The, is it is it like for artists and myself as a writer? You know, a lot of times uh, it's based on either a title or something you've read, just kind of a fact. Is it the same for you for for filmmaking? Yes, and I'm working on a, a Martian uh, sci-fi horror uh, novel right now, and I'm trying to think of a good monster uh, to use in it. So I'm going through all of these uh, Peterson's field guides of birds and animals and insects to, to try to find the creepiest kind of uh, description <laughs> and body parts and everything to put into this monster. 
Is it? I, I think. I think you know. Uh, I think probably one of the things is to take the most tamest animal that you can think of and turn that into a monster. I think that's what would freak us out the most, right? You know, you know, something like a kitty cat when it turns crazy or whatever is where it gets most of us, I believe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so what, give us an idea of the process because you're in the script writing part, and then what's if I if I wanted to put a film together. How do I go about it? I mean, I, I we got to come up with a story or an idea. That's that. And what what happens from there? What's kind of what's the general process for? Creating a film? 